introduce yourself, please. Okay. Um, hello, my name is Natalie Daigle, and I'm here to tell you about my um, big collection of One Piece. So you'd say you're an avid fan? Yes, I'm quite an avid fan of One Piece. All right. So what is One Piece? One Piece is a Japanese manga created uh, by Ishiro Oda, and it's also an anime. And it was made in the late 90s in Japan, and it came to America in the early 2000s. What is One Piece about? One Piece is about um, this boy named Monkey D. Luffy, who goes on an adventure to search for the, the treasure One Piece left by Gold D. Roger, the previous Pirate King. Okay. And what got you into One Piece? Um, it, I got into it around the ninth grade, and I went to this bookstore, and I picked up a copy of Shonen Jump, and it had the first few chapters of One Piece in it, and ever since then I've kind of been hooked. Cool, cool. Okay. You're an artist, right? Yes, I am an artist. Okay. Would you say that One Piece has influenced your style at all? Um, mm, yes, I would say it's influenced my style. Um, I try to not incorporate too much into it, so it won't be like a pure anime style. I just kind of look at, um, like how he does like the hands and feet and stuff. Or like how he draws hands and feet. Right. So you, you'd say that your, your style isn't really the anime style, right? No, I try to mix it up, um, kind of between American and anime. It's hard, but, you know, it's kind of worth it. <laughs> no worth it how? Um, well, I would say, um, and I guess it's just being different. It might, I guess, just have a better chance in the industry. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I'm just saying that. <laughs> is that what you've been told? Just saying. Um, that is kind of what I've been told. Because I always say, you know, if you have a pure anime style, it might not as be approved as much, I guess. Well, who would you say is your favorite character in One Piece? Um, my favorite character is um, Zoro, and he's the first mate of Luffy's crew, and he's also the swordsman. And he uses a three-sworded style, which is pretty nifty. Not everyone does that. And, um... What's really cool about him is how he, um, you know, he's always there for Luffy, even if, like, Luffy's idea or plan might be really outrageous and will get everyone killed. He's still there for him, and, and he's just a really good guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So would you say that you had, like, uh, that you could have emotional bonds with these characters, is that another reason why you like One Piece a lot? I would say so. Um, I guess it wouldn't be that much of a spoiler, but uh, yeah, when Luffy's brother dies, dies, yeah, um, I was pretty down for a while because um, they had such like a good bond and everything, and it just like you can really just see see and kind of feel the change in Luffy and how he kind of matures over the fact his brother's dead. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I see. Okay. All right. So would you say that One Piece is one of those life-changing inspirational animes that... Um, I would say so, because um, there are a lot of hardcore fans, I guess, as myself, who follow it, um, I guess who really just don't read it, but really just look into it, I guess, kind of the morals and, um, that Oda just puts into it with, like, friendship and, you know, I guess the meaning of being, like, a family and being together, you know, and just getting through whatever life throws at you, you know, and trying to get through that. So, yes. <laughs> right, so you'd say it's a... Something that you can relate with, right? I was, yeah, I, I would say it's something I could relate with. You know, I don't have like Del fruit powers or anything like I would, I would want. But <laughs> other than that, um, yeah, I guess I could relate to it. You know, 
in the friendship aspect and things like that. Well, yeah, yeah, and and the friendship aspect and just kind of, I guess, being carefree with life, not really taking too many situations seriously because with Luffy, he really doesn't, I guess. He has that kind of Goku aspect from Dragon Ball Z. His personality is really, like, childlike, and that's where the monkey part comes in because his birthday is, like, on Children's Day in Japan. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so that's what's, you know, cool about that. Cool, cool. Alright, so I see you collect a lot of things. Yes. So, how many manga do you have? I have about mm, 54 volumes of One Piece, which isn't that much, really. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, I have like a lot of figures, and I have a lot of like little lapel pins I collect. And I'm starting to collect a lot of fan art now, and now, especially his um, art books, they're sort of hard to find and terribly expensive. <laughs> is it, uh, what would you say is your favorite thing to collect? I would say my favorite thing to collect is the artwork, because it's just such a, um, I guess, it, just such a cool different style in the way he draws his characters and that simplicity mm -hmm. but yet it still has like a very dynamic effect. Uh, dynamic how? Dynamic how is that well he he can take kind of anything and just make it into some really bizarre character but yeah it's just um, um I guess it's just you know kind of cool kind of like with the fishmen you know they're just uh, like their design and everything. I just really like it. Because <laughs> they just like style. They just like style. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, where do you get most of your merchandise? And um, most of my merchandise, I get it from Acon, the Jap the convention here in Dallas every June. Mm -hmm. And um, there's an anime store in Addison I go to called Anime Pop, and they have they carry a lot of One Piece stuff that one day I will own. So, I go there. Let's see. Alright, would you say that your parents support you and your One Piece fandom? I would say they, they do they do support me because I've always collected um, uh, kind of little, I would say, I guess toys since I was little. Like I had a large like Ninja Turtle collection even like a large Hot Wheel collection and this I guess is just like oh it's just another collection she has so I, I think they're okay with it you know they're used to my mass of collections have they put much uh, let's see have they helped pay for a lot of your things um yeah I guess they kind of do <laughs> in a way you know they they do send me an allowance which I guess they do think, yeah, it's going to college expenses, but, you know, yeah, like, maybe 10% of it does go to one piece, yes. <laughs> I have a piggy bank. <laughs> I see. I'll save it in there. <laughs> Alright, well, one piece is really long, so, like, how how long is it, do you? Um, one piece is about 11 movies long, and I think the 12th movie is coming out later this year. And there's about uh, 658 manga chapters, which isn't really that bad, you know. War and Peace was a little longer, but, you know, people read it. And um, there's like 537 episodes, which is very lengthy and should, I uh, guess, be taken in small doses, not all at the same time. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. are you all caught up with it? I would say I'm all cut up um, watching it. There are some episodes I do skip if they're filler arcs because sometimes they're just kind of corny and it's like, how does this even make any sense? Is it what exactly are fillers? Hmm? Is it what exactly are fillers? Oh, um, filler arcs are storylines that um, are not like, they're off of like, 
they're not a part of the main story. That's what I mean. And that usually happens when, um, I guess, uh, like a new One Piece chapter hasn't come out yet, or Oda just, you know, something happens to him. Uh, he doesn't create any more chapters. The animation company will create like these little story arcs, like the writers will, that will uh, I guess kind of go in between like the main storylines sometimes. So. <laughs> so when you go to these conventions, do you try to go straight for the One Piece things most of the time? Um, I tr I do try to I guess, and I try not to I guess impulse by something like I do try to wait till like the last day of the convention or if it's like I guess something I don't have or I know it's rare you know I will buy it you know right. so there's that <laughs> is there any like impulse buy stories that you have actually there is <laughs> there is a, one impulse buy story um I think this happened uh, maybe 2003 I guess at Akon, and there was this little like one piece lock, and it was like a big. And the person was asking for like way too much for it, I think it was like $15 for this little baby lock. And of course, you know, I buy it because I was like 16, I didn't know how to spend my money. <laughs> and I told my friends about it, and yeah, of course, you know, they got so angry because they were like, why would you do this? It's a really stupid idea. So, um, so I went down there, we went back to the booth, and I wanted to exchange it, but the woman wouldn't let me. So I, I, I don't really remember what I bought. Um, I, it could have, I think it maybe was like artwork or something, um, in exchange for like, to return the lock or something. Because, you know, I didn't need a lock that small for $15. So there's that impulse way. There's also like a, a a Tony Tony Chopper robot, and Tony Tony Chopper is the doctor of the um, Straw Hat Pirates. He's like a reindeer. It's a very large pink cat, and I did I almost bought him like as an impulse buy, but it was the price of him that like stopped me. But and he's really rare too. The robot. <laughs> he walks around. <laughs> Super cute. Okay. Well, would you tell someone who hasn't even attempted to watch One Piece to watch it because it's super long? Do you think that they'd be able to catch up with it? If you told them to. I think I would. I would tell them to maybe just, like just give it a shot, you know, and to kind of tell them, I guess, what episodes they could miss, they could skip over if they wanted to, you know, like, um, you know, like, this arc goes from, like, well, episode 1 to, like, 20, and then from, like, say, like, 21 to 29, it's, like, a filler arc. They could easily kind of skip it if they wanted to. And, I guess, since I have all the manga, I would probably just, like, lend them a few copies, I guess, see how they like it. Thank you, Natalie. Mm -hmm.